Hello learners, welcome to NIVS studio. Now I am going to talk about very important method in teaching a mathematics project method. There are number of students in your classroom who are good in solving the problems from the mathematical textbook. You will find most of them are unable to solve the real life problems where the solutions remain similar. Take an example, students are familiar to solve the problems on profit and loss from the textbook, but they fail to apply the same knowledge during the marketing. The reason is the way of teaching mathematics in the classroom. Students are made to spend many hours of the day in learning and repeating subject from textbook without understanding the value in daily life. In reality, learning mathematics prepare a child for life by making him live in the reality and provide him opportunity where he or she can exercise his or her ability of thinking and skills of doing. Therefore, learning through project is an important aspect for getting real experience. Project method is of American origin and is the outcome of John Dewey's philosophy or pragmatism. Project method is developed and advocated by Dr. Kilpatrick. Now, I am going to be describe some of the definitions of project method. Project is a plan of action according to expert dictionary. Pallet said, project is a pit of real life that has been imported into school. Dr. Kilpatrick said, a project is a unit of wholehearted purposeful activity carried on preferably in its natural setting. The same way Stevenson said, a project is a problematic act carried to completion in its most natural setting. Now, I am going to highlight the basic principles of project method. Psychological principles of learning by involved by the project method. Learning by doing, learning by living, children learn better through association, cooperation and activity. So, these are the three philosophical aspects to be involved in the project method. The same way, the principles of loss is to be involved in the project method. One is law of readiness, law of exercise and law of effect. The project based learning is a learner centered method in which the students are challenged to do something by themselves outside the realm of normal classwork. Project based learning is an individual or group activity that goes on over a period of time resulting in a product, presentation or performance. A project of mathematics contains rich activities, activity participation, freedom to students and correlation with other subjects. In the project based learning as a teacher, the first task is to have identified the area of the project. Then you have to distribute each areas to different groups according to the interest of the group members. Here, I am going to highlight the steps involved in the project method. Step number 1, providing or creating the situation. Here, the teachers creates a problematic situation in front of students while creating the appropriate situation, students interest and ability should be given due importance. Step number 2, proposing and choosing the project. Here, while choosing the problem, teachers should stimulate discussion by making suggestions. The proposed project should be according to the real need of the students. The purpose of the project should be well defined and understand by the children. Then step number three, planning the project. Here the children should plan out the project under the guidance of the teacher. Without teacher nothing is to be moved here. So here the teacher should act as a guide as, as well as the facilitator. For the success of the project, the planning of the project is very much important execution of the project. Step number 4, every child should contribute actively in the execution of the project. It is the longest step in the project. It takes much time because this is the main aspects of the project method. Then step number 5, evaluation and judging the process project. Every child should contribute actively in the execution of the project. It is the longest step in the project. Then recording the project. In this sixth step, the children maintain a complete record of the project work. While recording the project, some points like how the project was planned, what discussion were made, 
how duties were assigned, how it was evaluated, etc., should be kept in mind. Here, I am going to highlight the one example how we can incorporate the project method in our classroom activities. This is an example for giving the task to the students to run the aspects. Here, I am highlighting nearly 12 steps to execute this project. See step number one. The number of hostels will be recorded by the use of the students. Step number two, the expected expenditure will be calculated by the students group. Step number three, expenditure on various heads will be allocated to the students. Step number four, budget will be prepared with the help of the classmates as well as the students. Then step number five, the account of collection from among the students will be noted. Step number six, actual expenditure will be inquired by the students. All the steps is to be done under the guidance of the teachers only here. Then step number seven, a chart of balanced diet for the hostess will be prepared. Then step number eight, the time of refreshment, lunch, dinner will be fixed and notified and fixed in the notice board also. Then step number nine, execution of the different programs stated above will be made. These are big steps because all the previous steps we can be executed now. Then step number 10, stock of each hostel will be checked after the regular intervals and the same will be put on record. Step number 11, punctuality in all the activities of the hostels will be recorded. Step number 12, evaluation of the entry program and it will be typed out for the information of all concerned. Here I am giving some of the examples of project for mathematics. So as a learner, you can think and you can execute this kind of the examples in your classroom practice. One is an execution of school bank, running stationary stores in your school, laying out the school garden, planning and estimating the construction of the house. It's a big task. Okay. Then planning for the annual camp, execution the activities of mathematics club, collection of data regarding population, death rate, birth rate, etc. Now these are the few merits of project method. It develops self-confidence and self-discipline among the students because here the students involved a lot. So for that they can develop their confidence. Then it provides an ample scope for training. It provides a scope for independent work and individual development. It promotes habit of critical thinking and encourages the students to adopt problem solving method. Based on the principles of activity, reality, effect, and learning by doing, etc., it develops a discovery attitude in the child. And this method provides self motivation as the students themselves select plan and execute the projects. These are the few demerits of the project method. It is very difficult to complete the whole syllabus. Then, textbook and infrastructure materials are hardly available for implementing this particular project method. It's uneconomical in terms of time, does not provide necessary drill and practice for the learners of the subject. It is not suitable for the fixed curriculum. Then conclusion for this particular project method. Project method provides a practical approach to learning. It leads to understanding and develop the ability to apply the knowledge. Here the teacher has to work as a careful guide during the execution of the project. Still now we discuss about the project method. Then project method provides a practical approach to learning. It leads to understanding and develops the ability to apply the knowledge. The teacher has to work as a careful guide during the execution of the project. Now I am going to sum up what are things we discussed here. In the project method, there is a six steps. Step number one, providing or creating the situation. Step number two, proposing and choosing the project. Step number three, planning the project. Step number four, execution of the project. Step number five, evaluation or judging the project. Step number six, according the project. Though project method provides a practical approach of learning, it is difficult to follow this method for teaching mathematics. However, this method may be tried along with formal classroom teaching without distributing the school timetable. This method leads to understanding and develops the ability to apply the knowledge. The teacher has to work as a careful guide during the execution of the project. I hope you may be enjoy this particular section project method. So try to be incorporate this kind of new learning and teaching methods in your classroom practice. Thank you. Jai Bharat.